Here are your notes on how to calculate density. This might be a review for some of you. So first off, a definition of density. Please write this down. You can put these notes right after your lab in your lab notebook. Just title them notes and they'll be part of your lab. So density is defined as the amount of mass per unit volume in a substance. So let's first talk about what this word per means. It means divided by. So whatever comes before the per is going to get divided by whatever comes after the per. So this is a way to read a fraction, basically. So if density is the amount of mass per unit volume, and per means divided by, then that means that density equals mass divided by volume, or D equals M over V. All right, I'm about to show you a cute little trick that I think is really helpful to remember this formula if you ever need to, if you've forgotten. Just remember that you love density because density is so much fun to calculate, so you love density. But when you forget the formula, it breaks your heart. Cute, right? Here's the M over the V. So you can use the heart trick to remember this formula if you ever forget it. Now our units for density are grams per milliliter or grams per cubic centimeter. And that's because density is mass divided by volume. So you're going to take the units for mass, grams, and you're going to divide them by the units for volume, milliliters. Or if you're doing density of a solid, you'll take the units for mass, grams, and you'll divide it by cubic centimeters, which are the units for volume of a solid. So please write down both of these units in your notes. Now we were measuring a liquid, so you're going to use grams per milliliter as your liquid units. One thing to keep in mind, a lot of people when they're reading this out loud, instead of saying grams per milliliter, they'll say G slash ML, or grams MLs. That's not the right way to say it. The right way is to um, use the word per to show that you're dividing. So it's grams per milliliter, or grams per centimeter cubed, or grams per cubic centimeter. All right, so now go ahead and do the calculations for the lab, now that you know how to calculate density. And please round your numbers to the hundredth since both, both your mass and your volume should have been to the hundredths place, um, round your density also to the hundredths place. All right, have a good one. See you tomorrow.